Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQA tech tip on energy recovery. It can be expensive to condition outdoor air, especially when outdoor air is really cold or hot. It can also be expensive to exhaust air that's already been conditioned. Two wrongs are turned into a right with air-to-air -air energy recovery. These devices recapture the energy that was about to be exhausted and uses it to condition the outdoor air. Think of a freezing cold day. If you turn on an exhaust fan, you'll be getting rid of warm air that you paid good money to heat. In that same building, it'll be expensive to bring in outdoor air ventilation because that cold air needs to be heated up. Energy recovery takes the heat you are about to exhaust to the outdoors and uses it to preheat the incoming cold outdoor air. Here's the good news, they work in all climate zones. Let me explain how they may work in a hot weather example with a simplified illustration. Let's say it's 95 degrees outside and the HVAC system cools the air down to 55 degrees. The room temperature is 70 degrees, which is the temperature of the air being exhausted. Without energy recovery, the HVAC system must cool 95 degree air down to 55 degrees, a drop of 40 degrees. An energy recovery system can pre-cool that 95 degree air down to 75 degrees and so now the HVAC system only needs to cool 75 degree air down to 55 degrees, a drop of only 20 degrees compared to a drop of 40 degrees without energy recovery. That equates to some big energy savings. Some equipment transfers only heat, whereas other models transfer both heat and humidity. Those that transfer heat and humidity are referred to as energy recovery ventilators, or ERVs, and those that just transfer sensible heat are referred to as heat recovery ventilators, or HRVs. The biggest barrier for bringing in outdoor air ventilation is typically its cost. ERVs and HRVs help a building bring in outdoor air ventilation without the high price tag. Any technology that can save energy and improve indoor air quality is a winner in my book. To learn more about energy recovery, consider taking the one-hour class in the IAQA University titled Ventilation. Visit the IAQA website for more information.